For more than six decades, trotting horsemen all over the world have shared the same dream, the dream to win this trophy, harness racing's greatest prize. Well, to win the Hamiltonian uh, is uh, a feeling that is the ultimate. Uh, there's absolutely nothing like it. There are many classic races, but on one afternoon in each of the past 61 summers, the dream becomes a reality. At Goshen's Good Time Park, then at Yonkers Raceway, the DuCoin State Fair, where the record book was written by the immortals of our sport. And now at the Meadowlands, one gifted trotter emerges from racing's most grueling test with a trophy that everyone in harness racing longs for. It's a dream to win a race like that, but you know, I never think it would ever become real. That winning horse will have attained the pinnacle of speed, stamina, and courage in Trotting's premier event, the Hambletonian. This afternoon from the Meadowlands in East Rutherford, New Jersey, 15 of the world's finest three-year-old trotters will attempt to make a dream come true in the 62nd edition of the Hambletonian. The 1987 Hambletonian on ESPN is brought to you by Brittany Farms, by Extra Strength Excedrin, the headache medicine from Bristol Myers, and by Castleton, a tradition of excellence. In order to win the Hambletonian, a horse must certainly have the speed to be first under the wire, but to win the Hambletonian, they must have stamina because they must win two separate heats. Hello, everyone. I'm Dave Johnson. Joining me on the program, Alan Kirschenbaum, Ellie Sarama, Stan Bergstein, and Tom Durkin will be calling the action. And this afternoon, we have heat racing for you from the Meadowlands. We start with 15 trotters split into two divisions of eight and seven, respectively. Then we'll take the top five finishers from each and come back for the second heat. If one of the first two winners wins again, it's all over. If a third horse wins, then we'll go to a race off with the three winners. It all promises to be a great afternoon of sport. And Stan Bergstein, just put this race in perspective in terms of the entire standard bred industry. Well, many people call it the Kentucky Derby of harness racing, and in many ways it is. It's a three-year-old classic. It's one of the legs of the Triple Crown, the other two being the Yonkers Futurity and the Kentucky Futurity, the Yonkers Trot and the Kentucky Futurity, just as the Preakness and the Belmont are the other two. And it certainly is a championship event for three-year-olds, but there is another difference, and that's more stamina. The three-year-old runners go a mile and a quarter. These trotters have to go at least two miles and possibly three. When one other event, they're very similar, and that is that it is the race that everyone in harness racing would most like to win, just as the Derby is the race everyone would like to win in thoroughbred racing. And the horse that they're talking about uh, having the best chance to get this afternoon's uh, beautiful trophy and more than a million dollars in total purse money is Mac Lobel. Ellie Sarama, can he be beaten? It's a horse race, Dave. Anything's really possible. The probability, highly unlikely. I think what we really should look for now is can he set records? We'll be looking for a Hamletonian stakes record, a world record, both records set by Prakis and of course John Campbell driving. And like Stan had mentioned, the Triple Crown. Our sport hasn't had a trotting Triple Crown since 1972 when Super Bowl took home the honors. So I know that's what I'll be looking forward to. And right now, let's go to the winner's circle, meet another member of our broadcast team with a special guest. Let's join Alan Kirschenbaum. Thanks, Dave. It's a very, very hot day. It should be a very fast Hamiltonian. And Billy O'Donnell, who's here alongside of me, has been driving a few of the horses that's in the, that are in the Hamiltonian today. Billy, how did you come to decide to drive Napolitano? Well, I had a choice between Napolitano and Sir Torres, and uh, you know, I raced Napolitano here a couple weeks ago on the Beacon Course Trot. I felt that, you know, he was coming into the race good, and uh, I just decided to take a chance with him. Now, earlier in the year, you had been driving Buckfinder. Is there a reason you're not driving him today? Well, I really don't know. I drove him, uh, I think I raced him four times this year. I won three with him, but I guess they felt the last time that he, he finished third to Mac, they went 54, that I didn't do a good enough job for him, so they want to try somebody else on him, I guess. Thanks a lot, Billy. Good luck today. Let's go back to Dave Johnson. All the action of the greatest day in trotting history coming up after we take this brief time out. 